welcome. This is Melissa Armo, and I'm doing a review of the QQQs. Sing asks where will this video be? They will be on my YouTube site. Go to YouTube. Look up the stock swoosh. I believe it's also under She Who Dares Wins. My old name handle. Boy, does that describe me good. Here, let's go over the market. Talking about daring, here's a daring call in the market. I'm calling the market higher, higher before the end of the year, although it did already make a new high again in the queues yesterday, but it didn't go anywhere with it. I warned you yesterday not to expect this to have the follow through or the blow day. I didn't see that yesterday. In fact, in the pre-market, I looked at the gap and I read the gap. I said, we're neutral, neutral slash bearish, I said. And then we opened and we rallied and we made the new high today. I thought, well, that was... I said, huh, well, I didn't call the market long aggressively for anyone yesterday into the open, but it rallied. It had a 50 cent rally, went over the high and then didn't go anywhere. It took all afternoon then to base, base, base and finally broke late in the day. So it did end up playing out the way that I thought it would in the pre-market. That read of gaps, when everything is still and silent, before anything starts to trade, when you see something and you read the gap, tells you what the stock or the market's gonna do in the day. And that's the value in that information in the gap. But that's, that's why the strategy is so critical to knowing how to predict something. It, it allows me to predict. The, the way I read gaps allows me to predict what something's gonna do. And that's how I'm able to predict the market. And by the way, that's how I was able to predict Alta. Because I'm reading all the gaps in Alta. The bearish ones, the bullish ones, all of them. Same thing here with the market. So I'm gonna read all the gaps in the market. Read the gap in the market yesterday. Looking at this today, I said neutral. We're actually, we're actually red here though. We actually look red right now. Do we hold the red today? Well, we might. We might come in to support and hold this red today in the queues. We're definitely not gonna make it over the high by tomorrow. Only one more day left in the week. So no matter how we close today, I don't see us gapping up tomorrow, and we'd almost have to, here, this is how this is gonna play out. We're gonna have to, let me just look at this here. This here, this is what we could do, and we're not gonna do it tomorrow, but we could do this one day in the next two weeks, like just gap up here. I'm not gonna know until I see how much we pull in, but I don't think we pull in a lot. So, so I think we could just gap right up here, not, not tomorrow. I don't think we pull in here a lot. It depends how much. Could we? Yes. If we do, is it is it a problem? No. Do we have to? No. Do I think we will? No. Could we? Yes. If we don't pull in, I think we just gap right up here. But not this week. So I think we hold the red today. Into support. This is not anything to sell. And I don't see this as a sign of weakness today. Many people, though, probably think this is a top in the market. It's not. Now, why would people think it's a top in the market? I'm sure there's people here today, right now, that think this is a top in the market from yesterday. Why? Went over the high, didn't go anywhere. It didn't have the follow through over the high. Made a topping tail, closed red, falling today. A million reasons. Market's been rallying for a long, long time. People think the market's exhausted. It's been going up for the last couple of years. Uh, made a double top yesterday. The, all the reasons people probably think now the market isn't going to make another new high before the end of the year or continue falling through bullish, but I'm telling you it is. And we'll still make a new high before the end of the year, even now in the queues with this, by gapping up over it, I think, not trading up over it. But it's very obvious to me that many people will think this market is not higher now after the trading day yesterday of the action for the reasons I just explained. We went over the high, we didn't have the follow through, we gapped up and we didn't have the follow through and the gap up, but it wasn't a gap to go long or I would have called it yesterday and I didn't. I said it was neutral. And I even said neutral bullish in the gap. And then people will see this today as a sell set up in the daily chart because we're falling today and triggering underneath yesterday's low. But, but again, we're still higher. You gotta read everything that's happening in this. But I can see why people are saying certain things about the market, but what I'm saying is going to turn out to play out to be the right prediction, which is that the market will continue higher. Does anyone have any questions about this at all? It's very important and it's good to know what, what other people think on the other side and where they're coming from, why things are happening and doing things. Sometimes I see that in gaps we do that don't work on the day, but then follow through the next day. But it is important. Sometimes we're in a trade and we're short something 
and we do it and we're in it and we're at money and then it poops up against us but it holds the stop and we and it breaks and we make money and I stay with it and hold the conviction why because I see sometimes that people are buying buying the gap downs that I'm shorting but we end up being right and making money why because I know what people are doing other traders on the opposite side of me and that really really helps you if you have a full understanding of what's happening in the market or in stocks that you trade to know the people against you and the positions it really can help you but how do you end up making money how do you make the right call to make the right train to take it in the right direction of the predictions of what it's going to do it, whether it's intraday in the short term for a minutes or long term for years you have to read what the institutions are doing and that's how we make money on a daily basis even within minutes and that's how you can make money in my long-term calls because I'm reading what's happening with the institutions. I've been teaching people for, uh, how long have I been teaching people? I started the business at the end of 2012, 13, 14, 15, three years. Great. Does anyone have any questions about the market specifically? And then I'll look at this other chart thing. All right, if not, this is Melissa with the Stock Swoosh. Have a great day, everyone.